Now, before we go any further, let me say this. I know that there's people out there that like this show. Okay, that like like this Kevin Smith's version of He Man. You know what? You have the right to like it. Just like I just like we have the right to dislike it. I'm not us talking about it and saying what we don't like. The reason I get so in or it like I get so into this is because I care about the franchise. I love this franchise. I want to see it bloom. I want to see it blossom. I want to become something. And what I saw was bullshit. And that's my opinion. You have the right to have your opinion if you like it. Okay, that's fine. And I've met people that liked the the Kevin Smith He Man. Um, it's just not our thing. And that, yeah, it's, that's you're allowed thing. to like it. It's just when you and if you go be, start calling people names for not liking it and attacking people for not liking it, that's where you're getting you're too carried away, too and far. you and you need to you, you need to ever, go back into your mom's basement and watch My Little Pony or something. Just calm your shit. It's well, everyone has the right to like what they like or dislike what they don't, you know. Yes. And when it when it comes down to the point where you can't defend it and you want a name call, that's where you kind of, you, you should probably just step back and go, "Okay, you know what? Sometimes saying nothing at all is better than, you know, saying something." But What's up, you beautiful nerds? I'm Wildfire One. You are listening and watching Nerds New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast. Uh, this is episode 149, season 8. With me tonight is... You don't get happy fandom tonight. You get grumpy, pissed off fandom. You're always grumpy, pissed off fandom. Uh, more than usual. Well, this. you're going to get... this. What we're talking about... You guys heard us talk about part one... Uh, we, we're talking about He-Man, the Kevin Smith He-Man, that shit show that we were given. Call it He-Man. It doesn't deserve that. Well, it was the Masters of the Universe that he changed. It doesn't even deserve that title. <clears throat> but he, it's like we're talking about the shit show that is the Masters of the Universe, uh, Kevin Smith, that he shoved down our throat. Uh, uh, like, I don't want to be super negative. There's there. So we'll start out. We'll start out with some of the good, like the very minute good in this, because um, there's so much bad. There really is. Um, and I'll start with you, Phantom. Is there anything you want to say that might be good? Orko came back. Orko was the saving grace in the last season. The art and- was good. And <laughs> the art was good. It, I you can't argue with that. It was good. Cause, well, it's the same studio that freaking did Castlevania. Of course, it's going to yeah, look fucking yeah. awesome. Well, and Castlevania art, the art in Castlevania were, was amazing. The only problem with the mm-hmm. art was... Uh, <laughs> the only problem with the art with, uh, with, with He-Man was uh, the ladies getting too buff or whatnot. We'll get to oh that. Oh, my God. We'll get to that. Don't. Uh, and, I, I'm revved up for that, <laughs> but we'll get to that. Um, um, Orko was a great character. Um, was it Mir? Did it seem like Cringer had a different voice actor this this time around? He didn't sound the same to me. He might have. I'm not sure. Like I remember the first season, I was like, "Oh yeah, that kind of sounds like Cringer," and then this one was like, like he sounded a little off. You know, um, that's something I would have to look up. But I, I think it's the same guy. Well, either way, it just sounded it sounded a little off to me, and um, it was there's just so much, there's just so much, and the the last season ended with 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 the death of He Man for the second time. Uh, the spoiler death of alert! It's been fucking six months. <laughs> spoiler, spoiler alert! Yeah, but Jesus Christ! <laughs> I mean, if you watch the first one with me and OK like bitching about it, you're gonna you're gonna know. So the first one ended with with uh, Prince Adam getting stabbed after getting the sword back or whatever, and uh, or getting the sword or what, whatever the fuck happened. He Man got killed twice, and Kevin Smith's out there bragging about it, and people get pissed off, and Kevin Smith is bitching and moaning that people are mad about his choices, and he's bragging about it. So what's he do? He's saying- you're not real fans of the original series. You didn't understand these characters, dude. You can't even make up your on when you actually watched He Man as a kid. <laughs> There's a point you're to be freaking made. Freaking lying. So it ended with He Man getting stabbed, and of course, like there was there was some 
some controversy in him being bitch dad. And he was like, one of the things he said was there's going to be more He-Man in season two than ever. Because a lot of people were pissed that there wasn't, you know, there really was like, what, two instances of you seeing He-Man? First part. And that was it. No. Really? Because then Adam just gets <laughs> killed both times. Well, he, he, he was like, He-Man... And then he got killed, and he came back, and then yeah, the he, the he was first time he first time he died, he was He Man times two, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Which that's so fucking what? How dumb could you? What happens if I invoke the sword twice? <laughs> you become He Man times two. <laughs> you become He Man er, more He Man than He Man, and we find out that Adam isn't dead. No, he just got stabbed. Yeah, again. like it, I, I'm, I'm just gonna say it. It felt like Smith heard what we said and tried to make it better, but the ways he tried to do it were, f- like, half-ass and bad. I don't even think Smith had anything to do with that. I think Netflix said, okay, you need to try to fix this, is probably what I think. I, I mean, I, I see that as another another angle, too, but, I mean, you got to remember, Smith has the final word. He's the director. Yeah. He's the one in charge of it. And I'm sure Netflix was on him about it. But at the same time, like, he's the one that's writing. He's the one that's doing this. This is his baby. His baby. Yeah, I'll uh, kill that baby. Skeletor is basically He-Man at this point. Oh, God, looked cool. I'll give it that. Yeah, the, the he's Skeletor looked kind of cool. The art was very good. It, it was. A, it's a cool design. I mean, it's better than... Well, what even, we got later. <laughs> even, even the story arc for Skeletor finally getting the He-Man power was okay. Like, yeah. it wasn't bad. It was it was a good arc to the story. Um, and they should have kept it like that the whole time. But, but I, no. Yes. Because <laughs> Smith did say, we're going to get more He-Man in this, in season two, than, than we want. And in a way, he wasn't joking. More He-Man, but not the way we wanted. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was it was bad. It was very bad, and it was uh, we got Skeletor's He-Man, and in my opinion, at this point, the plot, the character that you kind of grew to love, which was Evil Lynn up until this point, just fell apart. Like everything you liked about her, gone. She became a, she became like Skeletor's bitch. Pretty much, yes. Like. And I I get it, you know, it's supposed to be... The original series, like the original He-Man in the Masters Universe, she wasn't really his bitch, she was, like, loyal. Yeah, she was just a... She was a loyal underling, like a second command. Yeah, she was, like, she was... And she wasn't, like, yes, master, kind of fucking, like... She was his Tila, too. They, well, that's a great great example, because in this, this new... What Smith did... Was he was making it like Joker and Harley Quinn? Pretty much, yeah. You know, just because oh, you... I got the voice of the Joker, I might as well. Might as well, no. you know. And there's no reason for that. There's no. This is not. This isn't Batman. This is He Man. Batman says a Batman. This He Man is in He Man. You, mm-hmm. you keep those separate. Yeah, I mean, My... I, mean I said it last time too. Like, it's like he told Hamill, just do the voice of the Joker, man. Everyone loves that voice. Just do it. And you know, Hamill has the acting chops. He could have probably did something done, close to the original Skeletor. He could have done the original Skeletor voice. He yeah. almost could have. No yeah. doubt about it. But I mean, yeah, I'm telling you that do the do this do the, the Joker voice. Everyone loves that. I, I guarantee Are we gonna are we gonna talk about the bone in the room? We'll we'll get to that. <laughs> we'll get to that because there's several things in this that didn't need to be done. Like okay, long story uh, like, short. Long story Three short, episodes of just them fucking crying. Yeah. Pretty much. That yeah. was too much. Adam, stop being a little bitch and shut up. Tila, stop being a bitch and shut up about your mom and dad. Isn't, is, so at one point, Adam gets a hold of the sword again, right? No, he yeah. doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He, he invokes savage. He invokes the power. the power without the sword, and it's and like a becomes, savage version of He-Man. Yeah, it becomes savage He-Man. Yeah, so he's like this, this very huge, un... Untape, untampered like version of, of what He-Man was. In fact, it kind of reminded me of uh, what He-Man was originally about before. Barbarian. Yeah, the barbarian aspect of it uh, before they 
tampered him into He-Man. The comics. The comics. Thank you. Um, they, I think that was kind of a wink to that, and I'll give I'll give Smith a credit, a little credit, golf clap for that. That was kind of interesting, and it was a good way to get them out of there because they're in a really shitty position. Skeletor makes Evil Lynn the new sorceress after more or less killing the sorceress. Oh, <laughs> bitch! Hey, this is your mom. Bye. Yeah, I mean, hey. Well, she's. <laughs> well, we'll well, well, I take it. I take we'll it back. She Tila doesn't kill in him minute. in front of Tila. The sorceress saves Tila and in He Man and her crew, and they stay behind. Her and Man in Arms stay behind. Yeah. Uh, and Man in Arms didn't really have a choice. Like, Evil Lynn was like, nope, you're not going nowhere. So, and then and then about that point. Uh, and then the sorceress can't leave Castle Greystall, so. And she gets shanked. Crazy He-Man, barbarian, and. Running around, killing innocent creatures, killing manticores, and all sorts of going shit. Going ape shit, like. Yeah. And then he, he finds his parents, which, let's talk about that. Oh, God. He finds his mom and dad, his mom and dad uh, at, like, this this mystic mountain area, uh, like the Crystal Mountains or something like that. Uh, there's this like scene where you could tell that he w- like Smith wanted to give Randor a redemption, but it was it didn't it was it didn't feel right. It just that whole no. that whole scene just felt bad. Like it just felt like and it was maybe it was rushed. It just felt stupid. Like the scene where Randor made Adam kind of revert back to normal was okay. Yeah, but everything after that was just like and and then all of a sudden you have like. The queen and fucking and and the king didn't get along after after Adam died, and uh, and they almost got a divorce. And I don't I I like I get it I get the story, but it just that didn't feel like he meant. It didn't feel like what the what the original was about, and that no, it didn't. And is, then you have just three like three episodes in a row of them just crying. Go go ahead talk about that about how shitty their lives are, and it's like. Stop! We we heard Tila bitch all all in part one. We don't need to hear her bitch more, even though we get more of her bitching. Mm-hmm. And then Adams just turned into a big pussy the whole time. Yep, I'm the reason my parents don't get along. Bitch! Shit! You came back from the dead, and that's what you're bitching about. Good. Yes. And then and then there's a uh, Tila's friend. I can't remember her name. Andra. Important Andra. But like, and then she's like, "I just want a family," and that's cool. That that's cool. But like, all of a sudden, they're a big happy family again after all the bullshit. After all the shit from the first one that made them all horrible. All of them were fucking horrible people, except for the the new character, the new kid, what Andra, and because we didn't know about her. And then Orko. And Orko, and I mean, even even Adam wasn't horrible. No, but like Adam just well, got turned into a pussy. Yeah, well, you got. I mean, you got Randor, who's a fucking asshole now. You got the mom, who's just like no one fucking cares about anyone, and all of a sudden it's a big happy family, just the like that. Friendship. It's like fuck no. It, it was like Smith did his best to rush along, fixing the fuck ups from the first season, and it just didn't make sense, and it wasn't good. It just wasn't good. It wasn't well written. It wasn't well. Um, it wasn't well executed. There could have been so much more. I, I appreciate what he tried to do, but it wasn't well executed at all. Um, Evil Lynn's backstory for a second for this. Yeah, go for it. Because I that was probably one of the fucking funniest things. Her parents tried to eat her. Oh, yeah, yeah. She ran away from home. Yeah. <laughs> we got to see that. Her parents were poor, and they got so hungry, they tried to eat, their, eat Evil Lynn, and... Out of nowhere comes Skeletor, saves her. That and let me just put this out there: that was very out of character for Skeletor. Yeah. Why would he just come out of nowhere? I'm gonna save you, little girl. Come on. Skeletor doesn't give a crap about anyone but himself. Exactly. Um, she. Uh, I don't even think he saw that she had magic at that point. Like she. No. It just made no sense. It was just a bad. She plot was point. useful to him because she had magic. That's the only reason Skeletor <laughs> ever kept her around. And it's just a bad plot point. It was just a, it was poorly written at that point. And I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, and she, because of that, she felt like she had to more or less be his bitch. Serve him. Yeah. yeah. And he was, like I said, it was, it was like a Harley Quinn Joker scenario. He was very abusive. But Skeletor's all a, a skeleton. So does he have like a penis bone that pops up or? We'll, we'll get to that. Cause we've <laughs> seen it's very cringy. <laughs> 
I know. I'm just like but, processing. Like he's beating, he's beating on her. He's like demeaning her. He's, he's, he's saying all this like shit. That's basically like, I've, you know, the most I've ever heard him do in the original is call him like boobs and shit. Like, you know, he, he never really was as bad as he was to the, to the, at least to evil Lynn, mm-hmm. you know, and he, he focused his like hatred on her. At least that's what we saw. Mm-hmm. And it was almost, it was almost too much. Yeah. You know, almost, you know, it, it didn't feel more like that was his underling. That was more like his, it was like it's an life. abusive relationship. And what's weird, Skeletor doesn't give a crap about Evelyn at all. The Joker does kind of care about Harley. Yeah. In certain ways, <laughs> um, but he does actually kind of care about her. Yeah. Ske- Skeletor just was like... Well, he's making the like, Smith. Smith wanted to make those characters, two, those two different characters from, like we just said, from the two different franchises, way too much alike. And yeah. I think that was that was a mistake, Smith. You fucked up there. You you super fucked up there. You should have kept. If you would have paid attention to the original franchise for He Man, you'd have known where the line is, and you crossed it. And this goes on to the point where you want to talk about. Uh, this is when I first because she. Uh, Phantom watched it first, and I, mm-hmm. I, I didn't know it was out. The day it came out, she tells me, don't watch it. I'm like, I gotta watch it. I gotta do the, I gotta do the no show. no one was talking about it. Oh, and, and it was hard Smith, to find on Netflix. Let's talk about that for a second. Yeah, Smith I, was even saying he, he was only hearing positive things. He wasn't gonna look at the negative. He was just gonna hear the positive. It's like, there isn't, there's like, so, there's no positive. Look, and then it's not even in the Netflix's top ten. Yeah. Like, like, well, it's not even one. that. It's not even that. It. I had to look. I had to literally look for net, the Netflix He Man season two when day one it came out. I had to look for it. I had to search for it. And usually, it's on. It's right there on the first page when stuff like that happens. Yeah. When the, when the first season came out, it was on the first page. Um, they tried to hide it. They tried to hide it. They could. They tried to hide it, and there was. There's, you can't deny they that. Knew it was gonna be a now, shit show. We're at the point of the story. That I know you really want to talk about because it's so stupid. This was and it's one so of the demeaning. parts. Well, this is one of the parts that you told me. Yes, that that, that I like, warned I, you about. I, you warned me about, and I was just like, "Oh God!" And it has to do with something that really shouldn't have been in Masters. Of the Universe. No, because this is supposed to be a <sighs> children's franchise. Well, it's, Masters it's of the Universe start, is supposed to be oh, a kid God, franchise. I can't even. I just can't because it's. Do you want me to say it, or should I say it? There was an almost sex scene between Skeletor yep. and Evil Lynn. And this is the point this is at the point where um Lynn is tired of Skeletor taking advantage and she did what women do when they they want to take when they want to when they want to end something like that. She offered mm-hmm. sex to fucking Skeletor. She goes. She goes. Hey, how about I bone you? But you first have to power down so you don't kill me. Well, no, it had, and he freaking does it. Yeah, that's more or less what they said. But there was some, there was some uh, point or tip or some sort of joke that was just so bad it was cringy. They're like, you need to, you need to. I can't even remember. I can't even remember. I, what was I don't even. But it was. And just, like I, it's like, well, first of all, how does fuck this skeleton <laughs> fuck? First of all, because he's a skeleton, he doesn't have a penis. Well, he's got a body of a human. He's just got a skeleton face, so maybe there's a dick there. I don't know. Or, I, do you, I, let's or just, just well, like a... let's get to the point where the, well, I know you want to talk about is the kiss, the the kiss, the it kiss. Was so, it was so bad. It's like, what are you kissing? You're not kissing anything. He doesn't have lips. She sat on his lap, and like, and so he powers down, and then she takes the fucking sword and gets the power, and then we get. Hevelin. <laughs> yes. I'm crediting Vicky Sparkles from Clownfish TV on that. <laughs> I like that. Hevelin. She becomes totally ma- masculine. Yeah. Yeah. And this is where I'm going to put a fandom t- tangent warning right here. I am getting so freaking tired. Like when I saw Tila, when she was first announced, I fucking hated what they made her look like. Because I'm so fucking getting tired of women having to look like men to be strong. And it's bullshit. Yeah. And this this was the tangent you've been waiting to do. Yes. Tired of the freaking buzz cut haircut. I mean, she had the lesbian haircut. She had the lesbian haircut. She, she looked like... And then Andrew was very much set up to 
be her, her yeah. girlfriend. Yeah, there was gonna be a, there was gonna be a, there was gonna be some clam bumping and and uh, yeah, that didn't that didn't happen because we call everyone called it from season one. And you're not, and it's just, and it's no wonder more more people are gravitating toward toward gravitating towards anime and manga because Western cartoons keep pulling this bullshit. Yeah. Well, they and keep pulling the Hollywood bullshit, as I like to call yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, because they and... want to shove that shit down our throat. And I mean, look, I get it. There's nothing wrong with homosexuality. There's nothing wrong with with heterosexual. None of that stuff. No, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> One handed comment going, "Oh, Andra likes women." Okay, go for it. But no, it, they were so much setting it up. Yeah, they were. It was. It was a setup, and, and he, he got called on it. Straw and their d- version of diversity. It's just lesbians. It's just women. It, it's it's just it was bad. bad like that's just it's bad draw. writing. It's just bad writing, and it's it's it, you're trying you're trying. What he was trying to do is he's trying to get that Hollywood happy in there. You know, get trying the, to make get it the, the Tila show. And it, it, well, it was the Tila show. The whole season one and was the Tila show. I'm just getting. And it's just the designs of the women. It's how they're making women act, and. It's very disrespectful to Evil Lynn in general to have her have to do that. Yeah, I wasn't. I w- yeah, to get the sword, she had to s- be like kind of sexual. Because if that's what you think of women, that ha- that's how women have to do what ha- women have to do to get power. Then that's no, that is that is pretty sexist. fucked up. That's hundred percent. And that's what up. I got from that. And I I'm just sitting that. there going, "What in the fuck is this bullshit?" First of all, I don't need to he- imagine Mark Har- Hamill's voice. Fucking someone, please. <laughs> Grew up with that. Let's not. <laughs> it didn't need to be in He-Man. No, we didn't. At all. We don't need... Okay, we understand. Like, we're adults now. Everyone that's watched it and grew up with it are adults now. But there's still people out there that might be wanting to introduce their children to this. And what you did was not acceptable. And, like, in, in so many yeah. ways. Not even just talking about the sex scene. I'm if talking about wanna... how... Like you just said, how he was portraying Evil Lynn as like, and then of course Having after, after she changes, to... yeah, and then she and then she, she changes, changes into, the... into like whatever the fuck that was. And well, I want to call her. Um, I'm going to call her Gozer the Kazarian because that's what she looks like. She does look like Gozer. Holy crap! Um, Except for Gozer looked more sexy. Yeah, she was just like buff as fuck. There was no okay. reason. She's I, a dog. The, the muscles. <laughs> The, oh. I had to, but uh, the muscles I get because like He Man's over muscular. I get that. I can't, I kind of yes, get. But it. her boobs disappeared. I, honestly, I I didn't like uh, what they did. I, her hair and everything. There yeah. was no reason for that. It was just. It was just. Her bad. boobs disappeared. Like, why do women's boobs have to disappear in these shows? Like, it's boob. I like boobs. I like boobs too, and I'm straight, but I like boobs. I, it was just, it was bad writing, it was bad, it was bad scripting, it was just bad planning. I was almost ex- half expecting her to put, a, like, her to have, like, a penis all of a sudden and then butt but fuck Pe- Skeletor. That's Peg Skeletor? Like, yeah. Come here, honey. No! He, uh, and then she automatically kicked him, well, she didn't kick him out, he, he escaped because he knew he was fucked. You know, he was trying, hey, honey, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and it just didn't work. Yeah. And of course what happens, he goes over to the good guy's side. Yeah, he's like, okay, I fucked up. I have to go team up with this pussy now. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to introduce your kids to He-Man, either go back to the original show or go to the CGI He-Man that Netflix did because it's actually way better. The CGI hit He-Man was... I, I haven't got to see it, but I heard it's good. It's um, actually way better. So Skeletor goes to Adam, Adam and, and, and Tila and, and all them. And them. Basically and they make this, cries they make this, and goes... This, this plan on... Basically, going to beg, just beg yeah. her not to destroy the worlds. Because the whole reason, Evil Lynn, the whole plan she has for everything is she's just going to end it all. Yeah, she's like everyone was. Su- it's like I'm suffering, so every so I must kill everything. Basically. Yeah, like I, my life sucks, so fuck it. What's the point? You know, because they saw and, what the and, world is all about, what life is all about. And... She killed Kitty. Oh, yeah, Panther. we'll get to that. She we'll get killed- to that. Ugh, no one's on my side, so I'm gonna just kill everybody. Very, very emotional, very emo. How she did that, yeah. and uh, like you would think that her character, she would want to make things better. Like, 
Yeah. But instead, it was just like, fuck this, fuck the world, everything's so small and mediocre. I'm just going to Not even the original Evil Lynn or 2002 Evil Lynn was like that. No, no. She, uh, and, and, and again, we had that small story about her growing up where her parents tried to eat her, and eh, that was her explanation as to why. Like, were... uh, that's kind of the dumbest thing, but also it didn't help that Skeletor found her. So, can we also f- talk about how Skeletor found her as a kid and then raised her and still wanted to bone her? That's... <laughs> do, we, do we really want to talk about that? Because... No. <laughs> like, that that's some, like, Woody that's... Allen kind of shit. That's dark shit right there. Like, <laughs> holy crap! I just that's, that just popped into my head. I'm that like, is shit. very dark. Like Skeletor's like, call me Skelly Daddy. Uh, uh, I heard that in Mark Hamill's voice too. Yes, uh, I'm uh, glad. I'm glad. Skelly Daddy. Yeah, <laughs> Skeledad. <laughs> uh, uh. That okay? Skeledad's not as bad. <laughs> Skeledaddy. Skeledaddy's where it's like, nope. <laughs> if it's I'm out. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, she wasn't a little girl, wasn't she? Was she like a teenager? It doesn't. It doesn't make it any better. I know. It she's doesn't. Under the age of fucking consent. It doesn't make it any better. But they didn't. And they didn't. They didn't insinuate that anything like that happened at that until point. Until she. Until she. <laughs> until yeah. But uh, Skeletor and He Man, Adam, are trying to talk some sense into to evil in and she's just like fuck you fuck these guys fuck this and the whole idea is there is they're trying to make it to where like she doesn't do anything before the alignment of the planets because yeah. once the planets align you're going to be super powerful and, and the funny thing is is not only is evil Lynn the sorceress she's she man yeah yeah he Lynn, yeah yeah like you're she's got her... all this power and I'm like, I thought freaking Tila was acting like Mary Sue. Like, you're even more Mary Sue, like, because pretty, you have the power. Bad. And you're the sorceress. Like, holy shit, calm your tits, woman. Like, you you're can change things. Pissed. You have the power to change things, not just destroy shit. Like, yes. But you have the power to make Skeletor not a dick. Yes. Or take away his dick. I mean, that would work, too. So... Uh, a fight ensues, and then some shit happens, and all of a sudden you see this, like, like ribbon. And I, I, it didn't hit me at first. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Because I saw it in the background as, as yeah. Evelyn was, uh, was monologuing. And I go, what the fuck is this? And all of a sudden, here comes Orko. And his return was glorious because yes, Evelyn brought she opened the underworld brought yes, all the dead back she and even brought the back the what what's that fucking scare glow yeah yeah scare glow we brought they brought back scare glow who was the one who was like fucking with orko in season 1 when he yeah died died uh so clamp champ though oh clamp champ <laughs> clamp champ and what was the other guy uh stop can it. i talk yeah. about how she killed kitty that how yeah kitty go ahead go ahead Dev. yeah skeletor don't brought don't kill Kitty bat. You don't kill Kitty. You do not kill Kitty. That is the rule. She didn't just kill Kitty. She turned Kitty to stone. I know. I knew the moment Skeletor brought that fucking, that that accessory in, Kitty was going to die. Now, what I was afraid of was Cringer. Oh, yeah, Cringer. If Cringer died, that was it. That was it. I would turn, I'm done. Panthor dying was sad for me, but. Yeah. Oh, if Cringer died, I'd just I'd have turned it off. I didn't, I wouldn't even watch any more of it. Like Panther die, dying pissed me off so much. Like almost pissed me off more than Orko dying. So back to Orko. I gotta get back to Orko real quick. Yes, Orko. Orko we, we was he was happy. he was trans like dimensionally fighting in two places at once. Orko was powerful. Yes, as he always was. Well, he always was, but he was like. It was not sure it, the how world, the it world was the world was different here. Magic was different yes. in Eternia than it is in uh, Trala Where Law, or whatever the yeah. fuck it's called, Trala. And uh, but anyway, it, but it was it didn't work out that way in in this. Uh, they changed it up a little bit. But anyway, Orko just kind of found his stride, and he was he was kicking the shit out of fucking um, Scareglow, and he was giving Evil Lynn with all the power that she had, like a run for her yeah. money. He was a badass. I was very impressed with Orko. Yes, that's what was good. Yes, and, and that, that was one of the best parts. Uh, he was just, he blew my mind. And it was great. And so, 
So at one point, Adam gets hold of the sword and calls yeah. forth the power of He Man. Mm -hmm. And this yeah, could Orko be. Yeah, Orko gives him the sword. <laughs> Orko gave him the sword, mm -hmm. and that was so great. Yes, that was so cute. What is what is what is fucking Adam do? He gives Skeletor. <laughs> He gives the power to Skeletor. He shoots the power at Skeletor like he does fucking, he like he does the cat, like he does a uh, Cringer. Oh, and let's talk about let's talk about Beast Man, who became oh, her Cringer. That was. Be Beast Man got the raw deal in this. Like, yeah, all he wanted Poor was dude. her to love him, and she just used him, just like Skeletor, Skeletor did her. Her. It's, can, it's a can, vicious cycle. Uh, can we talk about Tila yes, again? Yes, please. Go ahead. So, and now Tila goes all Mary Sue again. Because she's, like, she's pissed at her mom for giving everything up. Mm -hmm. Giving her and her dad up to be able to stay in the castle. To be sorceress. Because they have to stay in the castle. When you're sorceress, you cannot well, leave the castle of Grace. She finds, she finds that, like, that water of truth or whatever that, yeah. made, that makes you the sorceress. And yeah. And she goes into ends it. And she's like, my friends give me the power to be able to leave and be able to do this and do this. And it's like, stop breaking rules. Stop breaking canon. Sit down and shut up. <laughs> well, and it's, you know, honestly, I'm going to say I liked what she did. Yes. Because it shows that, that what evil it could have done instead of just being a, a really angry bitch. <laughs> like, really angry bitch who needed a Snickers. <laughs> that's what it was. She be, she became an angry bitch that just needed a Snickers. Tila gets in there and becomes sorceress number two. Yeah. And like I don't I I guess there's so much power that you can be shared, and that's fine. I mean, we saw it. Everyone was He Man. Yeah. Everyone's turned into He Man. Everyone's there's there's five He Mans, two sorceresses, and a partridge in a pear tree. It's imagine, fucking ridiculous. Imagine Man of Arms with the power though. Man of Arms, if Man of Arms had the power, there'd be no stopping anyone. He'd be done. It'd be <laughs> the world. The world would. He would fucking. Mm. <laughs> Evelyn would have her ass on a platter. Oh, it would have been done. It, the whole show would have just been like he man, he man, he man in arms. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's it. But That's uh, what we want. That's the fan fiction we want. There's this the fight. fan fiction we deserve. There's this fight between Evelyn and and. Uh, Tila. Tila, thank you. As sorceresses, and they're just going at it. And it's actually kind of a cool fight. Yeah. The f Until yeah. the end of this fight, where, like, all of a sudden, Evelyn's like, we're friends now! You know, like, like something happened. Oh. made me so mad. She gets no repercussions of what she did. It's like, if anyone should be punished, it should be her and Skeletor. Mm -hmm. But no. Thing. Let's get back to He-Man and Skeletor. Even after the fight with with Evelyn stops and and she's fighting with with uh, Tila, Skeletor just turns his sights on He-Man. Now my question, no! as as he Skeletor, and I'm like, why? Why He-Man? Adam, just point your sword at him and take the fucking power back, and just slap him into oblivion, like. Instead, he just throws him out. Like he throws him like Team Rocket style into space, you know, out of out of whatever. Skeletor's blasting off again. Exactly. <laughs> you gave him the power. You you didn't you, you didn't realize this was gonna happen, and the whole time he's like, "I'm not gonna fight you, Skeletor." <laughs> you just take the power back, and then you bitch smack him back into Paternia. Mm -hmm. That's all you fucking do. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so, okay, then th that happens, and of course, like I said, the, the fight with. Tila and Evil Evelyn, and all of a sudden they're friends, and uh, 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 that happens. Everyone's happy at the end. The new man in arms is is Tila's best Andra. friend, and that's cool. I I actually liked that. That was actually yeah. cool. And then it goes to the very end. My hero. It's like you were not setting that up at all for Adam and Tila. Oh, well, all of a sudden Tila Tila is interested in Adam again. That's a thing. Like yeah, she she's like. She, like, puts his hand in his, and I'm like, mm, that's not what you were going for in season one. No, you were very much going for you're going, Andra and Tila. You were going for the licky licky. Be bumping uglies. Mm-hmm. And you're just, you're just changing shit like now. That. The, no, the, the clam, clam champ. <laughs> the clam champ. <laughs> I, I like the ending. 
uh, it seems a little forced. It seems a little bullshitty. Yeah. But then the ending after that where um, the weird Skeletor, cult. Yeah, Skeletor goes back to, to Snake Mountain and finds the cult. And it looks, looks like he's getting ready to uh, punish uh, what three-eyed guy and fucking, uh, yeah. and fucking uh, Trapjaw. And all of a sudden yeah. they grab him and Mother... Uh, motherboard was the name. Yeah, motherboard. Motherboard desire. does some shit and it opens up. It turns into like this chick, and I think the I think for the was the the bad guy from Sheila was Hordak. Was it Shira? Not? She she did I say Sheila? You said Sheila. You tried to combine Sheila and Shira. I don't know what Shira. I'm thinking. Uh, Shira, the bad guy from Shira was Hord. Was his name was Hordak, right? The the Horde, yeah. Yeah. So it shows like Hordak's face. And they're trying to, yeah. Like, I like they're getting what, ready to do more. And I'm like, no, stop. stop. Just stop. Because I know for a fact, I if you've ever seen any of Netflix's she Shira, um, she Princess of Power, the sh- the sh- never mind, that's a whole different podcast. Yeah. Even with this, we would not get proper Shira. No, no. Um, she would be way too buff and no titties. Yeah. Like we they would... they indoctrinated Skeletor. At least that's what it looked like. Yeah. And that was bullshit, in my opinion. Because why are you gonna make Skeletor the ultimate evil and then have him like knee, bend the knee? Bend like the no. Knee. Yeah. That's honestly, I, I I think that if he would have just kicked the shit out of everyone in that temple, and then maybe the the off camera, off scene, you know, off off like Mother- off to the side, you see Motherboard kind of come out and do the Hordak thing. That would have been cool. But then it would be a cliffhanger, like, oh, what happened? Yeah, no, what, what's going to happen Skeletor now? What bend the knee instead of instead of making Skeletor a bitch? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you, He Man. <laughs> uh, uh, but that that's more or less He Man. The He Man season two in a nutshell. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If I can say anything, I laughed more because <sighs> it was so fucking stupid. It was cringy. It was cringy. There was a few parts. That I did stand up, like when Orko appeared, Orko appeared, I stood up and I, I did fucking cheer. Yes. But, like everything before that, like you said, there was three episodes where it was just, hey, 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 it's just cry crying the whole time. And, and I'm like, oh my gosh. And my parents got it, or getting a divorce and all that bullshit. I just couldn't get into it. Like, I, there was some good parts. There were parts that were interesting, like C. Evelyn's backstory, using her quotes, backstory was okay there was like no character development for certain for people you have evil lynn who who you know had a really good setup in season one yeah and then they just then dropped they... the ball at the end and then she did she's just fucking bitch evil lynn the whole time and then she changes her mind the last minute and everyone's friends it's like no you killed a bunch of people. You destroyed Paternia. You brought people back from the dead, which is fine because Orko c- came back. Yeah, that, that but, I like that explanation too. You know, you you brought you brought everyone back from what our underworld. He's, yeah. he's like, oh, guess what? I was there too, bitch. <laughs> it was fucking awesome. It was very was well like, done in that part. You, she still should have had some sort of punishment. No, there should yeah, there should have been instead of like she she was still like sorceress evil in at the end right she still had yeah. all that power i don't think she got the power taken away no no so and then she just put she put her like little staff and, and walked away from it and that's all we saw from yeah. her and it really wasn't it wasn't impressive it really wasn't it could have they could have done a bit more um it's like if you if like if netflix made i know they are but made like an avatar lost airbender con- continuation and they made it just Everyone, the Avatar. That and that's, is basically what happened, and that, that's what I'm getting to when when it, when Smith said, "Oh, I'm going to give you so much He-Man in season two that you're going to be tired of He-Man." Well, he did that. Yeah, like he did that. Everyone was fucking He-Man. Everyone was He-Man. You know, everyone was He-Man except for the ones we wanted to be He-Man. Yeah, you know, we got we got we got He-Man at the end. We got Adam being He-Man at the end, and that was cool. Yes. But we got like four other He-Man, and some of them were. Oh, imagine Orko, like, calling on the power. Oh, that'd have been great. That would have been so great. I would have loved that. He just bitched Max Evil and it did, like, <laughs> out of it, it did answer one question. What if what if Adam called upon the power without the sword? So that was kind of yes. cool. Yes. Um, 
We got because like, I don't think they ever. I think they did that in the female. comics, but they never did that in the TV show. Yeah. So it was kind of cool. And I'll tell you this much. It was better than him going, what if I call upon the power twice? <laughs> like, Dude, you're already Dude, buffed like, up. Calm your, calm your man tits. I'm going to be He-Man or your He-Man. I, uh, Dude, stop. Stop. I was mad. Oh, you guys heard me say it in the first time we talked about this. It's, it was so bad. It was so bad. And it wasn't me or did they just like completely forget about that whole thing that kept like the world in balance in the, se- the, the the next season. Like it was about that orb, right? In the first season. Yeah. In the season two, they're just like, fuck that thing. We're done. Like we're, it, yeah. it's gone. So, you know, magic's back, was- but you know, nothing's, nothing's directing it like it used to. But the sword still works. I don't know. There's there was some plot holes and there. and there was... I hope there's not another season. Please don't let there be another season. I'm going to cry if there's another season. And if it, there is another season, Make put, it good. Put, Kev, put Kevin Smith on a leash and go, this is what you do, this is what you don't do, and if you don't do this, I'm gonna you're, you're fired. <laughs> well, I, I, you know, speaking of Kevin Smith, I think the biggest thing, the biggest problem I have with him was his comments like you know you don't go out and brag that you killed adam twice you don't go out yeah. and brag that this that and the other thing happened and then you don't get mad when you have people critiquing your work like i get it you can get upset it's okay if, if people are critiquing you can get upset about it but don't go on a podcast or a show and then start attacking the people that are the fans you don't do that yeah that's just bad that's just and like this this all started with Clan Fish TV hearing a rumor and saying, I really hope this isn't true because we want this to be good. And then Kevin Smith not shutting up. Kevin Smith, if he would have kept his mouth shut, if he would have if he would have yeah. been respectful to the fans. Respectful to the source and, material. And the source material and didn't do what he did and break the promises that he did, I think things would have been a lot better. There were there were some parts that they could have went with and stuck with, and if they wrote it a little better, could have really worked. Um, Skeletor getting the power, uh, even even uh, even Evil Lynn getting it in the long run. You, you they could have really made that there. a little bit better, like her tricking him in some sort of other way. Besides, we're just taking it while he fucking sleeps. <laughs> the Skeletor sleep though. Da- everyone sleeps. <laughs> Skeletor needs na- needs a nap from time to time. Maybe or that's like, why he was all pissed off all the time. He never slept. Drink. Can't close his <laughs> like eyes. Putting something in his drink to like knock him out or something. Yeah, Who knows? Yeah, like, or, except, he, but no, they had to make it the most. Or not even thing take the could. sword, because everyone kept telling him, telling her that the sorceress is what makes He Man He Man. All yeah. she could have did was like, eh, and it, and like, fucking magic it, it away. But yeah, instead she had to you know offer some evil vagina and and. <laughs> Heevil vagina. He, and it was Girl. awkward. It was so awkward. It's like, what are you kissing? You're kissing his teeth. What is happening? Smith, you have no one to blame but yourself. You can't go around blaming Clownfish TV. You can't blame us. You can't blame the fans. You did this. This was you. One thing that a lot of people... I don't know if you've heard this, but a lot of the people when they were defending part one were going, oh, well, the original was just made to sell toys. And it's like, that's what this one is. <laughs> the original started as a toy. Sorry, I'm sorry to have to tell you guys this, but the original started as a toy. There was no cartoon. There was there was a toy, and then there was a comic, comic that came with a toy that had nothing to do with a cartoon. And then the cartoon yeah. got the guys the guys from uh fuck whatever whatever place that made the cartoon got animation a hold of it. Or something like that. Yeah. Not got animation, a, animation, fan animation, fan animation. Yeah, well, they got a hold of it and actually put two and two together and wrote a story, and that's where fucking He Man's story came from. Yeah, you know there there was a little bit before that, but it wasn't much. And then there was the, the movie that we don't speak of. That they keep. I mean, how many times are you going to say, "Let this be our final battle"? I, I, after I all this, after Bone Daddy, after all this, <laughs> Bone Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So, <laughs> so, so that's the noise he makes when he climbs. Uh, <laughs> me. Skeletor is gonna become Hordak's bone brother, and it's, uh, it's Hordak's just... gonna be the one that pegs him. 
That's what's gonna. <laughs> he's happen. gonna he's gonna come up behind Skeletor. You feel my point? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the bone daddy now? Oh, e! <laughs> That's the sound he makes when you hit his prostate. <laughs> <laughs> Not so hard. <laughs> Hornack, safe word, banana, banana. It's like makes her safe word, banana. Oh fuck! <sighs> I think that's all we got for this, guys. <laughs> Bone Daddy. But <laughs> the chip that is your discard status, Bone Daddy. Bone Daddy. <laughs> but Bo- Bone Daddy Skeletor. So <laughs> alright guys, we'll see you next week on the next podcast. Thanks for tuning in. Till then we want you to stay nerdy, stay sexy. Always. <laughs> and remember the Bone Daddy.